search engine optimization tutorial and tips for 2022. In this video session, I'm going to share with you tips and insights to consider for your business website in 2022. What does Google really want? What's changed? Well, there is only one difference, and that is mobile. What Google wants is websites to perform well on the desktop and also mobile. That's the only difference. If any other so-called SEO guru tells you otherwise, then they are mistaken. So, what should you do? Well, you know what? There is so many things you can do to improve the performance of a website. But performance doesn't just mean the, the fast loading of a site. It means much more than that. It means the content. Like, your content performs as well. What that means is, I can make this website very fast. In fact, the home page is lightweight. Although it's built on WordPress, it's really fast. So I can use Google Chrome Lighthouse and then generate a report to show you. Or there are many tools available, such as, uh, where are we? Page Speed Insights. So this is one tool that you actually need to use for your website or your client's website to test the performance on a mobile and desktop. So the speed of a site, obviously, surely that's important. We can see it. Core Web Vitals is part of Google ranking factors in 2022. Basically, that's to do with um, user experience and um, website performance but most people think that it's just to do with the speed of a site now since you're learning with rank yet let's imagine this scenario let's imagine this page loads within one second that doesn't mean anything because my content as in your content on the website that you have that also performs make sense just imagine the the life cycle of a search pattern. Someone searches, Google algorithms kick in, and say, okay, let us show this website or this website. But over time, what happens is, Google shift things around to see, okay, if we send that searcher to another website, what happens? So Google algorithms are really complex to work that out. So then many people who don't understand things, they say, oh, that's to do with Google dance. It's not dancing about, right? So then you need to step back and say, okay, you know what? All right, you can use you know, plugins, you can use search engine optimization techniques to improve your page load times. That's a given, right? That's rather easy. But the fact is the best way to improve page load times is sitting back and asking yourself, okay, how about the server that I have? Is that performing fast? Because that single factor is going to be the main difference for Core Web Vitals. Then your optimization skills. As I've said, you've got many plugins, you can optimize images and so on. But let's imagine your website is heavy. If that's the case, then you need to say, okay, what's the heavy part? Is it videos? If so, then you have to find different ways to render videos and not make them part of the page per se. So there are techniques to do that as well. In this YouTube video embed, what I've done is I've used different techniques to make sure the, the heavy video load is not affecting page performance. So there are techniques that you can do that. So I won't go into it, but rather just tell you there are different ways to improve page load times. I've all, you know, I've shown you with the the masterclass free version that images play an important part 
and you can easily optimize images. So you compress them, reduce the file sizes and resolution, optimize it with keywords because images are part of a web page. Almost all websites have them, especially e-commerce sites. So then you can improve that. And in fact, that's part of you know, SEO um, strategy that you should be focusing on, improve images on a site. That's going to have great effects in terms of higher rankings. So 2022 page load times, as I've said, server is the main culprit as in slow server is not good. Since web hosting is affordable, why not do your research and perhaps, you know, get a better web hosting, okay, including virtual private servers as well. I've got a couple of reviews on Rank Your Blog you may want to check out. So page speed for mobile is critical to double check. And as you can see, you're not going to see 100% anywhere else. The reason I show you that is not to beat on my chest, but rather tell you, it doesn't really matter. You can have a slow loading website and still get great results as long as you understand what Google wants. As long as you understand what SEO is, it's not just keywords. Now, a tip that I can share with you is this. You have a website or your client has a website, then obviously you're going to have images, right? And you know how to optimize images as I've shown to you. But you see, most people make this honest mistake and I hope that you do not. And that is original content. What does that mean? Because Google loves original content. So original content are the words that you use, for example, but images as well. Stock images are not original. If you create an image that Google has never seen before, that's called original image. It's part of original content. Also, you know what? Most digital agencies go out and just get articles written. Right? They try and save time, grow their business and so on for their clients, for example. Original content is you sitting down, doing your research, and then writing something that is useful for your website visitors, for your target audience. And let's go and see. I'll show you an example because it'll make sense to you. I have a valued client based in UK. They've been hiring me for a while now. So I always you know, go beyond what they hire me for. So I write the content here, right? But where does that come from? We know the target keywords. You know the target keywords for your website, for your client's website. But the content is critical. You can't just have a small business website or an e-commerce site and think to yourself, OK, you know what? How do I rank in Google? And some idiots tell you to go and get backlinks, which is a spam. And then you're always uh, swimming uphill, so to speak. You don't want to do that. Instead, use the tools available to you, such as Google Search Console. Within that, you have search results in 2022. Here, the content strategy for a typical website can be identified through Google Search Console. In this example, I can say, okay, you know what? Are people asking questions? And I can filter the query and say, okay, show me you know, the performance of a site when people have searched how to type of keywords. And then looking at the position here, I can say, okay, you know what? We're lingering on fourth or fifth position. Impression is 77. Yeah, surely that's low. But in the second example, there is a related keyword here with how to. So now I can grab this, which I already have, and say, okay, you know what? These are the type of keywords that the website is rather performing to a degree. There are some impressions. That means people are searching for it. And I'm lingering on fourth, fifth, sixth, ninth position. 
and I'm not really getting the clicks. But the trick is this though. Once you identify these type of keywords, then you have to say to yourself, hmm, in terms of Google rankings, there is no such thing as ranking for key phrases. Google works on single word ranking. That means how to think of that as one word. Start, that's another word. Delivery, that's another word. Business, that's another word. UK, that's another word. So now, what you can do is looking at this type of analysis, you can grab few different long tailed keywords. Then keywords made up of more than one word. Because then you can see the similarity. In this example, you can see, we can then divide these out and say, okay, these are the common words. These are the common words. Korea, delivery are synonyms. In terms of Google, they basically, you know, 99% similar. So now, the next content should then be how to find customers for your Korea business. But <laughs> this content must be original. That means now I can research and then create a stunning information as well as original images too. Okay, so now the trick is that within that particular content, I link back to important pages. Okay, so no need to get backlinks or spam Google because that's never going to help. If you're a local business, you may be tempted, tempted to get citation backlinks, citation this local SEO. You'll never get anywhere following silly techniques like that. Instead, focus on content, focus on your website performing on mobile as well as desktop. And Search Console is your friend. This is the only tool that you need. Now, when you create that useful content and ask people to share, then they will over time share it. So there are different ways to get backlinks. So I'll um, touch base with that as well, okay? But you just can't spam Google. So when you create the content and it has links pointing towards other site, other pages, as in other web pages that are important, then over time, you will definitely get natural backlinks. And that's what Google wants. So, PageSpeed Insights are your friend. You should definitely check it out. You can use tools, as in plugins, to improve page load times. But the best way to do so is focusing on web server. Just imagine a local computer that you're using. If you have let's say i7 CPU compared to i9 CPU, then you just can't compare these two different CPUs, right? Web pages work the same way. So if you have a slow server, then it's a slow server. It doesn't matter what you do on the front end, it's always gonna be a slow server. Okay, so you already know how to optimize page load times because rank your blog and rank your YouTube channel has great insights. Focus on Google Search Console, search results to find content strategies and make sure there are no errors. Improvements, you can work on it slowly, but if there are errors, then that's affecting your Google rankings. And then original content, remember what that means. That doesn't just mean, you know, you get someone to write articles, but rather, write targeted content and create original content whenever you can. And if you can't, perhaps hire someone else who can create original content because the content performs, not necessarily the page low times. Because when someone searches Google for this content will be targeting, then we want that searcher to come, land on our website and 
search no more because then Google works that out and says, hmm, that web page must be relevant. Okay, that's how it works. So, once again, 2022 has just begun. The changes are mobile performance of a web page. And in terms of search engine optimization, nothing has really changed. You just need to create the original useful content. And I'll show you some tips and insights, and I hope that it's going to benefit your business website. I thank you for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.